oh yes defend Europe baloney I spoke about this last week I think regarding the identitarian movement known as identitarians yes they sound like the crew of the Starship Enterprise Star Trek uh, they've crowdfunded and got £56,000 I'm made to believe correct me if I'm wrong and they've bought a ship to head out onto the Mediterranean and stop migrants crossing from North Africa to Europe firstly how do they intend to stop them detain them turn them back secondly do the identitarians do they have the power to stop detain and turn people back on the high seas highly unlikely and let me tell you this now if the identitarian movement the leadership that is not the rank and file that have been foolishly suckered into that nonsense if the leadership of the identitarian movement that are made to believe are going to be man in the helm of the identitarian ship if they were the real deal genuine racial white nationalists right as soon as their ship set sail across the med to stop migrants crossing it into europe they would be scuba quicker than the Grafsby was in Montevideo uh, Uruguay at the end of the Second World War that's what would happen or let me put a put it a different way if Nick Griffin Captain Pugwash was to man the helm of the Jolly Roger head, head out across the Mediterranean to stop migrants crossing from North Africa to your uh, the Med to Europe it would be scuba quicker than the Grafsby was right and you know it would right and that's how you can tell this is all another one of those setups to become a pantomime and circus you see what's happening here it's tying up people resources money time man hours the whole lot that we don't have to spare and could be put to better use also it's to make, make the white nationalist movement look cold heartless and cruel stopping children reaching safety and also as well is a tragedy about to unfold in the Mediterranean where the white nationalist movement gets the blame for children drowning or whatever because you can see this you can script it it's that obvious and also what's very telling N uh, Nick Lowell's of Hope Not Hate they're pushing this now to counter the identitarians and their ship heading off uh, to the Mediterranean and when they normally shout that loud you can normally assume it's their creation because they know the reaction they will get from the public the public will not see it through our eyes or through the eyes of the boot the camp of the saints and how we should really deal with this they don't understand matters like that they're moved by emotion especially if children are drowning right so the fact hope not hate is making such a noise now you can guarantee that they'll have something to do with it or they'll be aware of the uh, consequences of such uh, folly of going on to the Mediterranean trying to stop uh, refugees re reaching safety it will just brand the white nationalist movement cold evil heartless stopping children reaching safety and so on and so on and like I've said we're Nick Griffin Captain Bugwash at the helm of the Jolly Roger heading across the Mediterranean he'd be scuba quicker than the Gatsby was in Montevideo the end of the second world war you all know it would that's what would happen so let's see what happens because of this ship as uh, strangely as uh what's the word for it? it it's unopposed on the high seas by an international police force or even a local one i don't know how it works on the high seas then you will know something's amiss if it's left to run wild not literally on the Mediterranean until some tragedy unfolds then you will know it's been left to do that because that so you don't forget the powers that be across the world and in particular Europe they are terrified of the backlash that's on its way and they're conjuring up all types of stunts and tricks to derail us come on let's get wise to all this now but anyway we shall see as Captain Pugwash used to say, Nick Griffin that is. Okay, thank you.